folks, how are you today? I want to encourage you to ask the question, what is essential, simple, and satisfying? I'm Dawn Herring and welcome to The Sweet Spot. And this is a special edition of The Sweet Spot because I am taking part in the journal showdown hosted by Jamie Riddler of Jamie Riddler Studios. I'm a member of her community and she has invited us to share about our journaling practice online for her journal showdown. So I am here to do just that. And I'm excited to take a part in this because I've been keeping a journal for 30 years and I have several journals that I keep on a daily basis and I thought I would share them with you. So here we are. So I'm gonna start by sharing with you my daily journal that I write in each evening and it's a lot of fun. What I do is, um, this is a flame tree hardcover sketchbook that I use. It has no lines and I get this at Half Price Books and I really enjoy having a journal that has good thickness of paper because not only do I write in it, but I also doodle and draw in it. And I use watercolor markers and pit pens when I do the drawings and doodles and um, the paper is nice and thick so that it doesn't bleed through. And for each journal entry, what I do is I write a summary of my day. It's kind of like a reflective time for me, um, kind of looking back on the things that I've experienced. And I use the technique of the dominant and non-dominant handwriting. I start with the dominant hand and then I go to the non-dominant hand as I switch subject matter in my journal entry. That's how I do that. And then after I've written my reflection, then I draw a doodle. I write a word or phrase in a doodle-like letter. And I also include something new that I've been working on for the last few months, so I'm fairly new at it. I've created a cartoon that represents me <laughs> that I include in my doodle. And I will show you the one that I made last night because uh, this is like September 24th of 2020 that I'm recording this video and my grandson's birthday was yesterday. So I made a doodle just like that. Yay! <laughs> Party! We had a lot of fun. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you that particular doodle so you could see, kind of get an idea of what it looks like for me when I do that each evening. And that is to me my favorite part of the day because I just love going in there and creating uh, designs, you know, inside the letters. And then I draw a letter that's a little bit bigger to fit the cartoon in there. And I like to put my clothing on that I wore for the day on my cartoon character. And it's just a lot of fun. I have, I have a great time doing that. So that's what I do in the first journal. My second journal is a bullet journal. This is a Piccadilly bullet journal that I get at Half Price Books. And I started this bullet journaling back in December of 19. So I've been doing it for, you know, let's see, how many months is that? Maybe nine? Not quite that long? I don't know. <laughs> so yes, I decided after I read his book, the guy who is the uh, author of the bullet journal, I forget his name, and I learned how to use it. And I don't use all of the ways that he talks about, but I do keep a daily rapid log and I also keep collections of things that I wanna keep track of in my life that are relevant and meaningful to me. And the thing that I like about the bullet journal is that it has an index on the front. Yes, so I can keep track of all of my collections and I write song lyrics in here and I write journaling prompts in here. And because I have an index, it shows all the page numbers where all those things are located. So if I wanna go back and reference it, I can and find it easily. And so that's why I decided to start a bullet journal so that I could easily reference things that are relevant to me and important to me to keep. I even do business stuff in here too um, for our electrical contracting business. So it's very worthwhile to keep and I highly recommend it if you like to write lists and if you wanna have something that's easy to keep track of. So yeah, so I start with this and then I move on to this <laughs> each evening. And in the morning, I start with my uh, composition notebook 
where I keep my night dreams that I write down each morning. Yes, I've been doing that for probably a decade. Yep, I write down my dreams and I also write down anything that's related to my sleep. Yep, so it's great. And I just use a regular ballpoint pen for this. And I also have two journals that I consider my spiritual journals for my spiritual practice that I keep, which is multidimensional, if you will. Um, I start with uh, sacred study and I write down verses in this composition notebook. And then I write down any thoughts that come to mind, any insights that I gain from my study. And then in this composition notebook, I write uh, a verse of scripture in here from Psalms. And then I also write a poem inspired by that song. And then I also write a song inspired by that song. So this is my poetry songwriting spiritual journal that I keep. And every time I practice my spiritual uh, practices, um, I engage in these journals, which happens probably four, five, six times a week. So that is my spiritual practice, which I really, it's very sacred to me and I really enjoy using it. And yeah, so that's, those are those journals. And I also have a couple of sketchbooks that I keep. One of them I use primarily for writing longer lists. And sometimes I also use it for taking notes when I'm reading a book that's really important to me. You know, not just quotes, but like, you know, notes on something of interest to me, you know, like an important topic that I'm studying or researching. And I also use this for creating mind maps on occasion. So it's, it's great because it's an online journal and I also can use it either going this way or this way which is really great because if I wanna just write something reflective, I can do it side to side. If I wanna make a list, I can go vertical, which is, which is good. The only thing that I don't like about this kind of journal is that the pages flip this way vertically. <laughs> and I often have a little trouble with finding which way the list goes, you know what I mean? So, um, but it works, it works really well for me because it's, it's roomy and it has good solid pages to it and I like it for that reason. And then I have this journal that's just like that one, only I use this one for sketching and I've even learned how to build cartoon bodies in this journal um, with some books that I had uh, gone through. And, um, and it was very foundational for me. And I've done some sketching and some pen and ink renderings and that kind of thing. So that's my sketching journal. And then I have two other journals that I thought I would mention. They're little ones that I, that I was gifted. Um, and this one particularly is one that I write little ideas down, you know, things that just come to mind, whether when I first wake up in the morning or just during the day, I write down ideas that come to mind in this journal. And then I also use this journal for writing poetry for gifts for family members. Yes, I write them down in here. And uh, it's a great place to just jot something down kind of thing, which is wonderful. And then I also have this little journal that uh, was also gifted to me. And um, this one I use sometimes to just, you know, jot something down like a little note or a quote or a phone number or, you know, anything that I just want to quickly write down. And recently I've been using it to note piano keys. Yes, because I write music. And so I started writing the piano key notes for a song that I'm working on right now. Yep. So that is my pile of journals. I hope that you enjoyed my journal showdown. And I wanna thank Jamie for inviting us to do this sh journal showdown with her. I had a lot of fun sharing with you my journal practice. So you have yourself a fabulous day and remember to keep it sweet.